What is up guys, it is Keegan here, and today we're going to be doing a new FIFA 21 career mode with Olympic Lyon. This is personally my favorite team, let me do my name real quick, this is personally my favorite team, uh, the, t the club uh, I support, and as you can tell by the thumbnail, uh, <laughs> there's a little bit of some, some clownery going on here. Rudy Garcia has been a, in all sense, kind of a disaster appointment despite the Champions League semi final result so we're going to be taking over Leon hopefully guiding them to the promised land where they deserve where I think they deserve to be but um all right let me make sure I actually put this on strict this time disable job offers we're going to be playing on a legendary for this Leon career mode we're going to keep the transfer window enabled and we're going to be doing euros and once again European competition but uh that doesn't really matter for me because we're not in it do they have the right groups here it looks like they do yes yep those look like the right groups to me um nothing that matters and let's let's get right into it here um we're gonna have to do a few transfers here and a few um new contracts just to get up to speed um with the as you can see the file i already created just to get up to speed with what the current roster is like and i'm just gonna skip this um, we'll get into kind of the budget constraints that I'm going to set on myself and why I don't really find that that uh, particularly matters. So let's get right into the emails first before we do anything. Uh, we have the important transfer. We have an academy uh, report as we have um, since it's the pre-order version of the game. We, uh, we have the future homegrown talent uh, in the squad. So we'll take a look at that later. Um, we'll take a look at this team. Um, as you can see there, there are a few players here that are not at the team anymore. Uh, Anderson and Ren Adelaide being two of them who went on a loan. And we're missing Paqueta and DeShiglio right now. So we're going to rectify that, uh, here in a minute. Um, but the lineup I'm going to go with, and I'll make sure to edit the rest of the game plans off screen, is this kind of 4-2-3-1 here. Uh, we'll put Bart in for now. Um... But Barton for now, we will get to Shiglio to replace him. But this will be the team that we're going with at the start. Obviously, we'll fix the bench a little bit once we make our, our proper transfer moves. Um, but this is kind of the squad that we've had. Uh, I know a lot of you guys, probably big Kuromo guys, know Rayon Sharkey is in this team. And you damn well believe we will be abusing Rayon Sharkey throughout this career mode. Um, so yeah, the first order of business will be to loan out uh, Anderson and sell Ren Adelaide because he will not be coming back from his loan. I can guarantee you that. And then from here, hopefully we can, you know, train these players up and have a good season. So let's get right into the um, squad hub real quick. We're going to do a few things in the squad hub and then I'll show you the transfers. Um, show you kind of the transfers, what we're going to be doing um, throughout the season. So a few things that I'll have to ask you guys for here. Um, Memphis the Pie has stayed at the club, but it looks like he's just going to be leaving at the end of his contract. Um, if you guys want me to keep him, uh, I'm going to put a little, where is it, up here. I'm going to put a card here, a little poll. Answer the question in the poll, should I keep Depay after his contract ends or not? I'll ask it now, and I'll ask it in January, because maybe in January it will change, um, depending on where we're at. And if you guys are interested in me, you know, Keeping on to him then, depending on how the season goes. And if we're so far ahead in the Champions League, we might just sell men to make some money and bring in a replacement then uh, if we don't really need him. Marcelo, we're going to let run his contract down as well. Um, I'm going to keep him this season as a starter, but past that, we're going to buy a replacement. We also have some release clauses to deal with, which I'm going to get. I don't care about his release clause. Um, I thought Kakari had a release clause. Do none of my players have release clauses? I could have swore these players had release clauses. I guess they randomly generate the release clauses or something. Interesting. Well, the release clauses to deal with, I guess. Um, we're going to take a look at the transfer real quick. I'm going to get the list of the players that I have to bring in to satisfy the um, satisfy the current roster, uh, as well as a few other targets that I have. So I'll be back in one second. All right, this is the transfer hub that we have here. As you can see, we have DeShiglio, who will be bringing in. I will bring him in permanently. Uh, if he was loaned in, I probably would have just bought him back the next season anyway. So we might as well just make the move permanent this season. 
Um, and then Lucas Paqueta will bring in as well. He's not a five-star skiller, which kind of sucks, but it is what it is. And then two of the other targets I have are Wama, Wama Gituka. Um He's a five-star skiller, but he's also a winger. And it, I'm kind of thinking I want to replace Corne. And after we replace Corne, we'll have literally no one on the right side. So we're going to want to bring in two wingers at some point on the right side. And I think he would be um, potentially a perfect option out there. We would obviously up his weak foot a little bit so he can start cutting inside as well. But some skills to bring some width to that right side with Dubois especially would be huge. Blah is another option um, who could come in on the right side. He can play down the middle. He's also a left footer and he can play centrally. So with Dubois comes offers that option where he can kind of cut inside, be a little more central with Dubois kind of operating out wide. And Simacon is someone we've been linked to. Uh, this window, we to a lot of teams this window, actually. And he's likely going to be our replacement for Marcelo next season. Um, but we're going to wait for a minute and let um, the um, scouting reports come back on Shiglio and Paqueta. And let's take a look at the the budget real quick. So the way I'm going to operate this career mode is a net spend plus model. I know a lot of people have been doing net spend career modes, or it looks like they're trying to. Um... And I'm going to give myself about $30 million over my net spend a year. Kind of keep it within what Leon usually do. We usually sell a lot of players. But our net spend is either um, we sell more or we spend just a little bit more. Not much more than that. So that's kind of the approach I'm going with here. To keep it at least somewhat realistic as well. I'm keeping hour though. I know those Arsenal fans want hour so badly. But as unrealistic as it may be, I'm keeping his ass the entire career mode. You better, better believe that. Alright. So now the moment of truth. Who is in our... Oh, wow. Martin Paulo. So we got a good striker here. Who is in our youth academy? So we have a goalkeeper from Poland. Potentially could be good. Um, decent left mid here. Um, he's got five-star weak foot too, which is nice. Um, decent player here. This guy, complete trash. So we'll release him. Release a youth player. Yep, don't care. Decent uh, players here. We'll remove the... Just completely unplayable guys. And keep kind of the rest of these. But this is our homegrown talent. Oh my god. What is this? Center forward cam. Five star skill star star weak foot left foot. Oh my god. Five nine? So it looks like this could be our um he could be our Memphis to Pi replacement and maybe Sharky out on the right. Martin Paul. Wow. Interesting. I think I'm going to get into a development plan here. Look at his development plan here. Um, let's see. What are his stats looking like? His passing is low. His dribbling. Um, uh, I think I want to make him a playmaking forward maybe. And then we'll make Cam his primary position. Um, and then maybe give him striker as well. Um... I think we'll make that his development plan for now, and then we'll come back to him later. Actually, let's just promote him to the senior team. We don't have a lot of players on our bench, so let's make sure we have as many people in our squad as possible. So right here, training. This is another big thing that they've added. I know a lot of you guys have seen this stuff already. Man, I have to do all of these again. I'm so heated that I didn't put it on strict negotiation. Um... I'm going to try to do a mix of the first team and then the subs, try to bring the subs in as much as I can to keep their sharpness up. Because the starting level will keep their sharpness by playing every week. Uh, but at the start, obviously, we're going to have to, you know, improve their sharpness over time. So I'm going to do all of the all of these um, drills off camera here, and then I will come back and we will uh, come back when we're starting to make some transfers. All right, we have had our first transfer offer here. Moussa Dembele, it's the block. I'm not selling Moussa Dembele yet. I got plenty of work to do to Pi. Don't worry about that. I'm going to go into my development plan, squad hub, and do a few development plan items. So, of things I want to do. First off, Dina Mande. He has played at right back actually a few times. Um, so, I want to get him as a right back. Add that to his role there a little bit. Have that as a part of his development plan. And then I want to go. Can I make Dupai an attacking midfielder? Is that something that can reasonably happen? Oh, it takes 11 weeks. I can make him a full-on attack midfielder. I'm going to add that to his, uh, to his training as well. And then I'm going to go down to... Where is our... 
Howar, I'm going to have him uh, become a left midfielder. Just to want to do this mainly to improve the position positioning within our team. Uh, helps people, helps the players keep uh, stronger overall while they're in the team. All right, I'll see you guys with the next transfer. All right, we have quite a few emails here. This is the rest of our... These are all our scouting reports and all our players, so let's take a quick gander into the... Um, now, I completely forgot that I didn't put the players that I had to up for loan slash sale, so I'll put him on the loan list, and then I'll put him on the transfer list. Wow. I can't believe I forgot putting doing that. I was like, why am I not getting offers for these players? And I realized, oh, I'm just not doing it properly. All right, so let's take a look at the transfer hub here. Let's see the rating 78, 70, 76, 76, 71. Simic can potentially maybe not a good replacement for Marcelo next season, but that's what it is. Let's approach to buy De Siglio, Mattia De Siglio. Once again, I am not concerned. Oh, let me mute. Yeah, I was going to say. All of this stuff is actually copyright music, which is annoying. Makes it awful to do videos on. Um, but uh, for this first window, I'm not buying anybody um, that that's not someone who's already at the club. Oh, just take the offer immediately. Okay. So we're not going to worry about the net spend. We'll start worrying about that in January, the net spend. Um, most of this money has already been funded through other transfers that we're not making ourselves. Um, so kind of understand that when we start talking about next spend, start, we'll start worrying about it in January and I'll start actually keeping track of it and showing it on screen. It's a red release clause. I think we'll give him six. In the practice, in the one that I recorded and it didn't work, I gave him 70 and accepted immediately. He accepted 60 immediately, so maybe that's not even a good offer. But we have Mattia De Shiglio now within our team. Now let's go for Lucas Paqueta. Potentially a uh, a Depay replacement, if that's what you guys want me to do. Let's do replace Memphis Depay, but... So we absolutely do not want any sell-on clause. We'll propose 16 without the sell-on clause. See what they come back with. 17.9. I don't mind just paying the money outright. Let's just pay it. We paid 20 million for him. This window, so we're technically getting a little bit of a bargain. But it doesn't really matter with the model that we're doing through this career mode. Yeah, this is the one that's freaking copyrighted. So annoying. Uh, we'll give him important. He's not going to play a lot, but he's someone who's definitely going to come off the bench and try to change the game as much as possible. Off your contract. And then we'll disregard the release clause. And then we'll offer him... Uh, we'll offer him 24. Uh, we'll offer him 30. I think he wanted something around that the last time. Yeah, so we were pretty close. Um, then we'll just submit that as our offer. And awesome, we have the two players that we technically already had. Uh, but now we actually have them in our team. So let's let's go to the squad and actually move this around a bit. Um, we'll take the Paul guy out. And we'll put Piquetta in. And we'll put uh, Dish we'll take out Katawere. And then we'll put in the Shiglio for Melvin Bard. So we're going to make it, well, now that we have these signings, let's make a few position changes. I'm curious how long it takes the Shiglio to actually get to become a left, a native left back. And if that makes it worth doing. Oh, it only takes two weeks. Okay, we'll make him a left back. Um, that's going to be his position. And then Paqueto, we're going to make him an attacking midfielder. Uh, that's kind of the position we're going to see him in the most often. So let's make him an attacking midfielder. Awesome. So those are our two signings out the way. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to make a training team sheet. Um, this is going to be a team sheet that we use to kind of train our reserves, players on our bench. Um, so we'll bring in Paqueta. Uh, no, we'll bring in Cherokee. Yeah, so th this is going to be kind of our, our bench uh, our bench training. Make sure that we actually have a bench and we have a, uh, a group of players who are actually fit to play and come in if we need them. Uh, very, very important that you you d you add one of these training, uh, a training team sheet, um, just to make sure you keep your bench players nice and 
nice and sharp. All right, let's go back into here. And what I'm gonna do now is from here on out, I'm just gonna keep doing these by myself. So I will let you guys know when it is, uh, I'll let you guys know when uh, the next transfers come in. All right, looks like we finally have a loan offer for Joaquin Manderson, and it's gonna be to Spurs, not to Fulham. This is the loan offer he currently has, but eh, it's good enough. Let's see if we have another offer for Anderson. I'm just going to decline the Bayern one. He has a much better chance of playing at Spurs. Did I accidentally reject the Spurs one? I don't know. Mendes offer. Oh, both got offered? What? Oh, okay. So I want to block Mendes. I don't want to bring in any players right now, so I don't really want to sell Mendes. If I don't have to. Alright, right here, Benfica for Ren Adelaide. Perfect. We'll just send them off here. Don't even need to negotiate. Don't even need to negotiate. Okay, let's change it. Alright, we got another offer here for Ren Adelaide. I'm not I'm just not negotiating these. Mainly because they just have no reason to. Um, we're not really functioning on the net spend for, for this season. Oh, perfect. We can change Paqueta to Cam now. Let's go in here. Development plan. I think I changed position. Pog. Change the position. All right. First position change. Paqueta is now a attacking midfielder and then a central midfielder second. Awesome. And then he's up to 77 now because of that. Perfect. That, that worked out just how we wanted. Uh, oh, we get some more stuff here. All right, so let's take a look here. We have a Ren Adelaide is actually sold here, so we've sold them to Milan. It looks like Leicester City are looking taking them on a two-year loan. Interesting. I'm actually going to accept that. I don't, I don't know if his future really is at Leon. Um, to be honest, so we have a development player here, Desiglio. Can go to left back now. Perfect. And now we have Desiglio as our starting left back. Awesome. Development is looking great right now. And then we only have um, Memphis Depay left to do the um, change his position to uh, center attacking midfield, and then Awar to left midfield. Our final position changes we're going to be doing for the start of this career mode. So you can see there, Anderson has been loaned out now, so we do not have the ability to select him for our team here. And it looks like we have the position change now for our youth, our uh, homegrown star here, uh, Martin Paul. I'll take a look at that in a second here. So we'll go in here. We'll go to Martin Paul's development plan and change his position to central attacking midfielder. He is now still a 64, but um, he's got really good physical stats, which I, <laughs> which I of course really like. Let's take a look in here, see if anything is looking better. That guy can get cut, send him out of there, and then Jacobson looks pretty decent actually. Uh, maybe we we look at training him up next. The world focus on Martin Paul here. All right, we are getting close to the first game of the season. Um, let's let's change the drill here. I'm really bad at that time. Law pass one. I need to make sure that I get as much. Um, my my defenders have not been getting the most. Um, what is it, the most uh, fi uh, sharpness? Because I'm very very bad at, at the defending. Uh, defending drills yeah it looks like we're gonna they might not have enough sharpness for game one. Oh wow the saint etienne leon game to start the career mode is that what we're gonna start with that's big oh my goodness all right so this this could be a tough one we're gonna be going away to saint etienne our um our fitness is not our sharpness is not amazing as you see there we have 65 from Marcel, but 36 for Denier. So that could be rough. Let's, um... Okay, so that we won't have to worry about that um, anymore once we change his position. Right center mid, and then left center mid here. 
We have a little bit of a worrisome in terms of um, the morale a little bit. People seem to be just content, but I think if we get a win here, that will change everything for for the morale for our team. As you know, obviously, once once we start winning, everything just turns around. I really hope this music doesn't get copyright straight. I made, made the point to mute all the music, but I'll just cut this out, I guess. All right, the first game of the season. St. Etienne, huge game to start. We have not yet to have this fixture in real life yet. Actually, in the one that failed, the recording where I didn't have strict negotiations on, actually putting in small Pelly and loss. So we get a little chance to right that wrong here. And we actually lost that fixture in real life too. So oh, would, it wouldn't be me improving upon the Rudy Garcia situation. But this this is a huge game. Uh, Saint Etienne versus the Lyon. One of the one of the big derbies for Lyon and Ren not Lyon and Ren. Why am I thinking about Ren? Lyon and Saint Etienne. Big derby game here. Um, Saint Etienne not as strong as they have been in years past. Um, we're clear. I think we're kind of by far and away the better team. So we can see they have Ruffier in that as always. He's always back there. Traco, I don't know the other guy. Fofana and Tabushi. So Fofana hasn't left in this save, in this um, roster update. He's actually at Leicester City now. So we still have to deal with Fofana um, in this game. D really solid defender. And you guys know our team. We have Depay as captain. I'm going to leave him as captain for most of the season, but then move to Awar or Den probably to Marcelo or Denaire after because um, he is going to be leaving at the end of the season. I don't want a, a captain's contract to run down. So Deshigli on Marcelo, Denaire, Dubois, Guimaraes, Kakare behind, Awar, Depay, and Cornet. <laughs> uh, for now, kind of yikes. And then Dembele up top. Um, I'm still not confident in Cornet, but I'm, I'm going to give him a shot to potentially win a role as a backup in the future. If he plays well, then we'll keep him. One thing I noticed with this team is they were very narrow uh, when I played. Uh, like, the fullbacks would go very narrow when I played uh, in the previous game. So maybe if, if it happens again this game, I'm going to have to... Um, I'm going to have to ch look at the formation and, and instruct both the fullbacks to stay wide. Because I can't have them getting narrow. Oh, there we go, Depay. Oh, fine, Dembele. There we go. Come on, put the pressure on Fofana. Uh, we just weren't able to get there in time. Oh, there we go. Awar into Dembele. Oh, is that Dembele's first of the season? No, just missed. Wow, that could have been Dembele's first of the season, but... Alas, from getting a real opportunity. Oh my god, well, my playing out from the back has already cost me. Why can't they let us bring the defenders into the box yet in FIFA? Oh my god, wow. That is shocking. To, that is, uh... Wow. I, I tackled him twice and he just got through anyway. Unbelievable. That That's the sharpness right there, costing me. I think their denier's sharpness is so low. That there, I think if he had high sharpness, he would have got that. And then I just, obviously, I defended like a clown after. But I think that's, that's, the, that's sharpness in FIFA 21. If you aren't paying attention to your sharpness... Stuff like that's going to happen. And then right now... Oh, I don't like this outfit. I might have to change this uh, between recordings. Um, but Buanga has scored in the <laughs> Uber Eats League. I still can't believe they called it. They have that as a sponsor for the league. Just looks so clownish. But... Oh, Gimarash. Yep, fine. <sighs> the passage is off. I find the passing a little bit off this game. I feel like I, I take a while to get used to the passing every FIFA... Um, they always just like tweak it a little bit and I have to, to figure it out again. Oh, there we go. Good tackle. All right, counter's on. Oh, I don't think it's on anymore. Yeah, all right. Half time, down 1-0, but we've, we're not out of this game right now. We think we've, I think we've defended well enough. Just one, kind of one mistake. And I think we've created 
a decent we've created a decent shot while wow, Lil losing that could be big early on in the season we just have to defend well and we'll find our chance not like that we won't all right let me put it on to attacking oh attacking is that formation never mind I forgot to change the the game plans for each formation of course of course I did Oh my god, and now I've, I've screwed it all up and I've conceded again. Oh my god, wow. Good thing I'm streaming this tonight. What the way, streaming career mode tonight, twitch.tv slash keeganr underscore mtg. Link in the description. Make sure to subscribe. I mean, make sure to follow on Twitch and subscribe, all that stuff. I gotta plug it, I can't deal with this stuff. I'm gonna be streaming a career mode tonight. We're gonna do a on-stream career mode as well. And hopefully that'll give me the opportunity to actually, like, get decent at this game because losing to Saint Etienne is inexcusable even though we were away from home oh there we go Cornet make a run oh is that a penalty there we go penalty first penalty of career mode we forced our way through we're in a good spot still here we can maybe not win this game but we can definitely draw this game still this Cornet runs in there. Yeah, that's a free penalty. I think penalties are the same in this game. Yeah, they look to be the same. All right, we're just going to go for power into the bottom corner. Nothing fancy. Oh, my God, and the keeper goes the right way. As if the keeper goes the right way there. Oh, come on. Let's bring in a corner. Wow, the keeper goes the right way. We get a penalty, and we miss the penalty. Unbelievable. Wow, they're putting a lot of pressure on this team just... It's just like it was going to get a yellow. It just felt the dysfunctional. Let's see if I can bring someone on to change the game a little bit here. I think maybe bring up Paqueta. Bring him out. He is left footed so we can have him cutting inside off the left there. Um, Kakari has just not felt at his... Kakari and Gimarish have not felt at their best today. So we're going to mend us to kind of solidify that a little bit. Oh, Tiago Mendez, wow, and then he just misses the chance. Oh, this has been a frustrating game, honestly. But, here's what it is. All right, hold off, hold off. And then, wow, we're down three? Oh, my God, dude. Ugh, shambolic defending. Maybe we have to panic by a defender here. Is that what we're going to have to do? Is this going to be panic by season? To get a defender, because Marcelo's not been cutting it, man. He's been dreadful. Defending, I go into... Yeah, and then... Deshiglio just doesn't get in there. I, I just don't know what's going on there. Some, something's wrong in the defense. Maybe we do have to invest. Could have scored a penalty, too. Changed the whole complexion of the game. Oh, Dembele? There we go. Alright, we pull one back. All right, I didn't want to celebrate. I just wanted to pick the ball up and get another chance to go and see if he can pull this back late. But now we've got our first goal for Dembele in the career mode, and he's going to be an insane striker. He's been really out of form recently, but hopefully he can find some more form in this career mode. Oh, another one back? Oh, wow. Unlucky again. And then they're going to pull it to four here. Wow. 4 1 loss to seeing the TN to start the career mode. Oh, wow. I was memeing at the start, Rudy Garcia out. Maybe I'm not the man for the job so far. What a shit show. Unbelievable, man. All right. Well, this is only the first game. We're going to play one more game this episode. And hopefully, we can have a lot better of a, of a game. Because this, this just, everything that went wrong in this game went wrong. Could have gone wrong in this game, went wrong. 4-1 loss. Terrible defending. Maybe I have to play through at the back to just get through this, honestly. This has been a nightmare. Right, let's go to the post-match interview here. So Lil's loss as well, so that, that helps. Lil's one of the teams we're going to be competing with all season, so...
All right, they're, they're all just the basic questions. Just answer the most, just to maximize the um, maximize the morale. There, gonna be you know, gonna be tough, but hopefully we can get that game. And here we have a transfer for Awar. Insta block, not a chance. We're letting Awar go in this career mode, if I can help it. Okay, we're away to rents too. All right, let's take a look at the team management. Let's fix the positions. Kakari just was fine, but I don't know. I just was not confident. I'm also going to bring out, put Paqueta in and see if he can do a job. But I need, I need Mendes in there to be a little more solid. As you can see, that's the probable lineup they're going with. They have Rafinha still. Uh, Rafinha... Of course, not on Ren anymore, um, as he went to Leeds. So we can see kind of the lag of um, the career mode um, roster update that I have here. All right, let's get into it. Hope, hope for a better performance. This is another team we really need to be doing well against if we're going to be going far. As the, the Ren actually made the Champions League this season. They finished third in the league last year. Um, very, very, very strong team. Um, they got a lot of quality in there. Um, you know, and they're going to be... They're going to run a 4-3-3, it looks like. Um, which I think will give us maybe a little bit of an advantage. We can run them down a little more in midfield uh, with our numbers. Rafinha, yeah, he's the player to watch. He is quality. Obviously, he is at Leeds now, but we still have to deal with... We have to deal with him here now. And I have Kamavinga. He's a huge talent. Um, I would expect him uh, to, to leave at some point. Uh, but maybe in this Kermit, he stays the whole time. Um, they also have... Who, who is it? They have Mbaini Yang, who's a very, very pacey striker as well. One thing I've noticed in FIFA, I always struggle with two striker systems, so... Thankfully that we're going back to they got a one striker and they got wingers. Hopefully that'll make it a little easier for me. So let's see exactly. Oh, I skipped through the lineups. I think the the lineups might be copyrighted, but we'll we'll see. You'll you'll know by the time this episode's up if I have to cut it or not. Oh, well, there we go. All right, Paqueta down that wing here. Oh, right, hand it off to. Oh, Dembele turn him. Oh, Paqueta. Wow, there we go. Paqueta comes off the left side. Working with Dembele. And that is his first goal for Leon. Coming from AC Milan. He was a very hot prospect in coming from Brazil. But kind of struggled to get off the feet. Get running uh, in the Serie A. But it looks like Liga is going to be his league. And instantly rewarded for taking crappy Cornet out of the team. Spaketa comes in. What a shot. What a strike with this left right there. Instantly changes the dynamic of this team. That is his first goal. And Nibeli an assist as well. Goal and an assist for Nibeli to start the season. Definitely having a lot better of a time here than he is currently for, for Rudy Garcia's Leon. For Keegan's Leon, he's doing nice. First team debut. He obviously came off the bench last time, but... Oh, there we go. A little bit of skill. Move it to Dubois here. Oh, Dubois cuts through. Send the cross in. Oh my god, Depay. What are you doing? How have you missed that? He misses the penalty and then misses this wide open header. What? Unbelievable, man. Unbelievable. Thing again. Oh no, everybody pressed after that. Uh oh. The counterattack's on for them. All right, Deshiglio. I feel like I have to take Rafinha out here. That's not taking him out. Nope. Nope. Clown defending. Clown defending. <laughs> defending like an absolute meme right now. Oh, I can't tackle him here. That's a red. All right. I, that's. I gotta take. I gotta. You know. At least get a free kick here. I have to slow the play down. They're just running too rampant on my defense there. There we go. Oh man, now everybody's in the box. This hour is not a not hour is not someone who can hold the ball up in those scenarios. 
Really? Oh my god, dude. So unlucky. My defending has been just so unlucky this game. How did it even happen? Paqueta and then Tiago Mendes just doesn't go in and I clown around with Marcelo there. Thinking I can intercept the pass. And and by Niang, someone I've used a long time ago in career mode, is gonna put me one all with Ren here. I don't honestly say on the balance we should be winning this game, but you know if we're gonna casino like that, they deserve to be draw. They deserve to be level, so. Deny or keep that? Alright, attack again. Oh, Dembele? Can we get a second? Oh my god, as if he hits the crossbar there. Oh, there we go. Wow, as if we hit the crossbar there. Unbelievably. Unlucky, man. Unlucky to end the first half. Could be 2-1 up and probably should be leading this game. But a defensive error has put Moran level. I think the Paqueta change, despite his defending there, I think it's been really, really positive on this game. Let me see the match facts here. We're leading a possession away from home, which is nice. So, I have to just control the game, the ball a little bit. Oh, Depay is through. Depay is through. Oh, the cut, these cutbacks just don't work anymore. They used to work all the time in FIFA 21. That's a f goal kick? How, dude? All right, so I gotta figure out my my new way of of getting into the box, how to attack the ball under that much pressure. It's kind of annoying. All right. Oh, Rafinha, there we go. Lopez comes out well to challenge that. Oh, Dubois with the risky challenge there. Oh, there we go. Good good challenge. Oh, send him belly through. Keeper might come out to that. No, he's not going to. Oh, come on, Depay. How? No, dude. Don't screw me like this game. Don't do me like this. No, it's really going to be one of those games, isn't it? Go on, find a Shiglio down that wing there. Oh, Depay? Oh, he's cut back in. He has to finish that. It has to be a penalty. What is going on? What is going on here? Dude, this has been a nightmare. I don't know if Depay's just having a nightmare or I'm just like off this game. But oh my goodness. We should be at least, he should at least have three goals here. What is going on? Okay, come on, Depay. Fine hour this time. Come on, hour. You got to score. Oh my god, dude. What is going on? Oh, that's Dubois? What? Oh no, Dubois getting the card. Bro, our unbelievable, dude. What's going on here? Maybe it's time for the Toko Akambi show. I'm, I'm gonna bring on Sherky, I think, for Depay. Depay is just... <coughs> Depay's missed every chance he's had this game. I don't know what to say. I'll bring Corne. Tashigli has actually been pretty good. Gamer actually felt has been a little medium, and then we'll bring Bard in at the very end, I think. Let's see if Ring on Cherokee can change the game here for us, because Depay has been subpar this game. So, he's so slow. All right, we just gotta defend this then. Let's look like we're gonna we're gonna our chances and miss are gonna cost us. Oh no. Wow, that was a great tackle by Nair to save that one. To potentially save a goal there. There we go, headed out. One all draw. A loss and a draw to set this career mode. It's, it's like the Rudy Garcia situation. But hopefully, we saw some better signs in this game that we were improving. And hopefully we can take this and move on into the next episode. Um... I think we, we've accomplished a lot. I hope um, you guys enjoyed this game. We'll get into the press conference real quick and I'll kind of talk about where we're going next for the next episode.
All right, so the Shiglet, I think the Shiglet has been fine. Um, I think part of the thing is, is I want to make sure Bard gets more game time. Yeah, we know we can be better than that. We're gonna, we're gonna, you know, hopefully not miss those chances again. So let's take a look at the calendar real quick. Kind of see what the next episode will hold. So we have Nîmes, Marseille away. Um, Marseille away is going to be a huge game. And then we'll have um, a few easier games. Bordeaux. Uh, I think this is a Lens. Uh, I don't know why I can't remember that. And then Lille um, coming up soon. So we have a few tough games coming up. Um, obviously, you know, we haven't started the way we wanted to. But hopefully we can right that wrong in the next episode. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to like, subscribe, leave a comment. Let me know what you think of the Depay situation. And let me know um, if you think there are signings we should make in January. Um, as I said, twitch.tv slash KeeganR underscore MTG. My Twitter also in the description. I do plan on streaming a lot of career mode, maybe some ultimate team. Um, and then this series, I'm not sure how often I want it to come out. Obviously, it's going to come out a lot more frequently at the start once FIFA is new. But that's the end of the episode. If you guys enjoyed Make sure to like, as I said, and I'll see you guys in the next one.